Hello and welcome to another edition of Chair Yoga and Mobility. For today's practice, we're going to do a quick uh, flow to help ease lower back and hip tension. Now, caution before starting, all of our bodies, all of our structures and issues are different. So I would guide you as much as you can to move in your pain-free range of motion. Um, leave out whatever is not working for you today. Do what you can with what you have. So for this practice, we're going to be experimenting with movements to the side, to the side, slight, very little rotation and forward bending. If anything starts to give you pain or discomfort, please stop doing that movement or modify it in a way that doesn't cause you pain. All right. So let's get started. We will start in a wide leg position. So if you have a tendency to keep your legs very narrow, start to widen out your base. If you're feeling stable enough to shift the back away from the back of the chair, go ahead and find that lift. And then have your ankles stacked below your knees. All right. And then once you're in position, we're going to use the feet for a moment. Can you push the feet into the ground? Even lift your toes. That's okay. But push the legs down and feel the back of the legs starting to fire up. Take a breath. That's it. I'm pulling as much air as I can. And so pull, pull, pull the air and then exhale. All the air comes out. Draw the lower belly to the spine. Very good. In through the nose, allow the chest, the ribs, and the upper abdomen to fill. If you need help feeling that sensation, you can always feel the outer edge of your ribs. Try to breathe wide and then exhale, draw the lower belly and help the air come out slow. Very good. Breathe in, root the feet, sit tall. Feel how your lungs want to expand and then exhale, draw the lower belly in, relax and let the body go. One more time, breathe in. Good, and then a slow and smooth breath, breathe out. Very good. Now we'll be using our feet a lot. So if you have the availability to use your feet, please do that. Press into the floor, extend your arms, and as you inhale, reach as high as you can reach. Hold once your lungs are full, and then exhale, float the arms down. Relax the legs as well. So inhale, we energize. Inhale, push down, reach up. Two, three, four, big reach and stretch. Exhale, come down. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Press down, inhale up, two, that's it. Keep pushing to the floor, reach. Try to get as long as you can get. Draw the belly in on the exhale, go down, four, three, two, one. One more time, go up, push down, inhale up, two, three, four. And then come back down, four, three, full breath out, two, one. Good, inhale, bring your hands to where your heart is. Exhale, settle in center. Now we're gonna go forward and back a little. I'll pivot my chair just a little to the side so you can see this a bit better. When you're ready to inhale, belly and chest comes forward. Arms are gonna stretch back. They're gonna help you extend. So breathe in. So it's not just an arm movement from steady. Bring your body forward, arms back. And then on the exhale, round the back, press your palms forward and then push into the hands, push into the feet. Try to stretch the arms forward as your spine curls back. Breathe in, come forward. Lean with your belly and chest, reach and stretch your arms. On the exhale, flip the palms, push out, cave, round. Very good. Inhale, create the opening. Good, exhale, start to round and cave. One more. Inhale, create the opening again, pain-free range. How much air can you take in? Can you reach and stretch your arms a bit farther? And then exhale, round, push the palms and cave. On the inhale, reach and stretch up. Okay, now on the exhale, take your arms over to the side. So if you're using a chair that has armrest, make sure the arms are going over it. Ground your feet down on the inhale, lift. Now on the exhale, tilt towards one side. So careful with your tilt. We're just starting to check out how the side of your body feels. 
So one side gets compressed, the other side lengthens. Inhale, come up. Reposition your shoulders, separate the ears from the shoulders, and then exhale, tilt towards the other side. Good. Inhale, come up. Reposition, exhale, tilt. Good. Inhale, come up. Reposition, exhale, tilt. Okay, now inhale, come up. You can stay in that low version if that's more supportive for your shoulders, or you can reach your arms to the sides. Keep the feet planted. Now inhale, as you reach, it's gonna take a little strength to keep your body anchored. So reach and keep that lower hip anchored. Exhale, come back. Inhale, reach to where the other side is, and then exhale, come back. Inhale, reach, side, exhale to center. To the side, breathe in, exhale to center. Good, inhale to the side. If you're more comfortable, reach and extend that back arm up. Exhale, wave it back. Try the other side, inhale, reach. Reach and wave it back. Exhale, come back. One more, reach and stretch. Come back, reach, take a breath in and stretch. Good, come back to your center, release your arms, roll your shoulders three, roll them two and roll them one. Very good. On the inhale, reach and stretch your arms up. Now we're gonna start to get the legs and hips involved on the exhale. Try bringing one leg up towards your body. So maybe you're here and you're rounded or you're able to pull the leg towards you. Here you want the back to round. Good, inhale, lower down, reach up. On the exhale, opposite side. So maybe I'm lifting first and checking. If I need my hands to support, I can use them and pull them towards my body. Inhale, leg down, arms up, that's it. On the exhale, pull, bring it towards. Inhale, the leg down, arms up, good. Again, Exhale, you can always stay low and curl to where your leg is or bring the leg to where your body is. So modify it for your body today. Breathe in, big reach and stretch. So we keep lengthening. Use your arms to extend your spine. Exhale, knee comes in. Inhale, go down, reach up. And then exhale, the knee comes in. Okay, that's it. And then inhale, leg down, arms up. Good, and then exhale the arms down. Okay, then rest the arms for a moment. Walk the feet in. Inhale, one heel up. So now here we're gonna play with opening up the hips. So let the hip open, close it up. Inhale, open, and then close. Okay, so now you're checking. Can my leg rotate away? Can it come back in? Away and in. One more time, out and in. Lower that side, switch. The other side goes up, we open and close, open, and close, open, and close. Breathe, two, and back, one, and back. Okay, relax here. Now from here, take a breath in, lift and flex one leg. So you wanna use the muscles in the leg, bring it over to the side, tap it to the floor, come up, keep it flexed, bring it in and come back down. Go up, same leg to the side and down. If you need to use your chair to brace or hold the body, if you have armrests, feel free. Come up and around the hurdle. So now we're making the hip do some extra work here. Fire up the muscles in your legs, good. One more to the side and back to center. Okay, let's do five on the other side. Exhale, lift, inhale, opens. Exhale, come back. That's it, take your time, go up. Try to keep the body upright, that's it. Come up around the hurdle for three. And all the way back, two. All the way back, that's it. Test out the hip, it might be a little bit of work. One, open and close. Okay, very good. Relax here, have the feet hip distance or wider, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Now we're coming through that little gap we made in our legs and then we're shifting forward. So now here, feel what it's like to come forward. If this becomes too low or you feel dizzy or uncomfortable, keep the body upright. Inhale, lift halfway, so where you're lengthening the lower back from your crown. And then exhale, lean into it. Good, again, inhale halfway. So you're popping up belly over the legs. You're trying to lengthen here. So we're not rounded at the top and then lean in and stretch from the lower back all the way to the back of your head. 
one more. And then exhale down. All right, then let's use the hands. Inhale, push the hands against the legs, climb up. On the exhale, curl around back. Very good. Inhale, heart forward, arms back. Create that opening, that lift, and then squeeze the back body. And then exhale, bring it back to your center. Okay, so now we're gonna get into those side movements. We're gonna see if we can create a little bit more space in the lumbar region of your back. So for this, you're gonna to need to open up the legs as wide as they're gonna go. So I'm gonna sit forward and then take the widest leg stance that my body permits today. Then here, open your arms out to the sides, turn the palms to face up. Now press the feet down, sit the torso up. So you're actively pushing the legs down now. Take a breath in. Let your breath out, reach like you were gonna to touch the walls, breathe in, push the feet, breathe out. One more time, breathe in, stretch. On the exhale, elbow taps the leg and then reach and extend from the hip all the way up to your fingers on this side. Come up on the breath in, go wide. On the exhale, elbow goes down, let's reach and stretch to the side, good. Inhale, go up, exhale to the side. Inhale, go up, that's it. Come back to center, reposition your body and then reach and stretch. If the top arm, your shoulders are very restricted, you might not be able to lift all the way, that's okay. You can rest your hand and then lean. The more you shorten the lower half of your body, the more the opposite side is gonna stretch. So play around with arm down, maybe arm lifted, maybe arm raised and come back. One more on the other side, reach. Adapt the posture if you need to, and then go for your stretch. Okay, and then inhale, come up. Okay, on the exhale, take one elbow, drop it to your leg, take the other leg, stretch it out. So now I'm gonna make one side of my body long and the other side of my body short. Keep this foot pressing away from you. So this leg is drilling away. Inhale your rear arm up. So now I might take it to a place where it's more comfortable, turn through the palm. Keep pressing the leg down. Now try to reach your hand away from your foot. That's it. And then notice if the body comes forward, try to roll back and then wave the arm back. Okay, got it? Breathe in, stretch. Find your pain-free range with that shoulder. Go for the sensation of your side body stretching. And then exhale, come back. One more time. Breathe. Reach. Maybe hold it here for a breath now. Anchor the foot. Stretch the fingers. Breathe one more, good, and then exhale, rise up. Good, once you rise up, bring the leg back. Very good, breathe in, heart forward, breathe out, spine rounds. Very good, then inhale, arms to the sides. Let's do the other side, exhale, elbows, you're gonna take a little break. Leg can stay bent or can extend outwards. So you're gonna go for that long line against the side. On the inhale, meet your end range as much as that is, and then come back, scale it back. You could play with repositioning, play with anchoring, drop the shoulder, inhale, reach. That's it. Make it work for you. Go for the sensation of your side body being your focus. Again, inhale, stretch. Now you can continue to move this arm back in space, make it comfortable, and then come again. If you're able to hold this, you're gonna shrink down one side, root the other leg, and then try to hold and breathe. Stretch the fingers on the inhale, relax on your exhale. Stretch and relax. Okay, inhale up, exhale, come down. That's a drag the foot in. Heel toe the legs just a tiny bit more narrow, take a breath in. And then from here, exhale, hinge at your waist, bend forward, that's it. Let the back stretch from here. Good, inhale halfway, exhale, lean in. Good, inhale halfway, exhale, lean in. Good, and depending on how comfortable you feel, it might feel good to take a little rotation. So lift, take a breath, see what it's like to take a body and bow towards one leg. So here you can have the fist stacked, you can have the elbow stacked, you can fold the forehead to the leg or reach for your foot. Breathe into the opposite side of the spine. Breathe in, breathe out, in and out. One more, and out, 
Crawl to where your leg is, inhale to center, rotate to the opposite side, make your bow. Good, so again, I'm gonna test out the bow to see if it feels safe first. I'm gonna decide on the height, maybe I'm high, mid-range or low range with arms relaxed or supported. Take a breath in. Now you're aiming the breath on the opposite side body and low back, and then exhale, curl yourself to the leg. Breathe in and curl yourself on the exhale. One more breath, curl it out. Okay, and then inhale, let the body come up, come to your center. Inhale, go forward a little bit, arc. Exhale, come back and round. Very good, inhale forward, arms open wide, stick your chest out. Exhale, come back, curl, cross one arm over, give yourself a hug. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, and then inhale towards your center. You can have your hands on the seat. Walk your feet in a little bit more narrow. So last but not least here, I'm gonna to pivot to the side so you can see this. Make sure you're using a chair that does not have wheels. And if it does have wheels, it's locked, so don't force. But we're gonna reverse into a mini reverse table. So my hands are gonna sneak if there's armrest to the inside of the seat. Shoulder blades are rolling back. Now feet are a little bit wider than hips. On the inhale, push the arms down, try to lift the bum off the seat. If you have the strength, push into the feet, grip your glutes, and then drive the hips up and squeeze. Hold three, two, one, sit the hips back, come down, ease to the chair. Good. Again, inhale, push down. So arms first, chest second, then legs, hips go up. Grip your glutes, try to power up through the lower back, shift the hips back, sit back to the chair. One more, breathe in. Drive up, that's it, hold on the exhale, breathe in, grip your glutes, hold, that's it, come out if you need to, if you can hold one more, please do, and then exhale, come back, shift, release the arms, release your wrists, you can move them around a little, roll back a little, that's it, and then inhale, reach up, exhale, come down, shift forward, give yourself that opposite stretch, inhale, halfway, Exhale, lean. Good, inhale all the way back up. Exhale, curl and round. Inhale, chest forward, arms back. And then exhale to center. All right, then shift the weight all the way back. Let the spine relax, let the feet come into a comfortable position. It might feel good to have the feet together or knees together or legs extended. Relax the shoulders, relax the back, and we'll end with a few breaths here. If you need more time or you'd like more time, you can always pause and spend as much time as you'd like here, but we're gonna do six breaths in and out. So start with a long exhalation and just feel all the muscles we've worked and stretched, let them go. And then inhale slow and steady through the nose. And then exhale through the nose or the mouth, let it all go. Good, breathe in. Let the body fill with air. And then as slow as you can, breathe it out, relax arms, relax your legs, your neck and your head. Breathe in. Good, and as slow as you can, breathe out. Breathe in. Good, and as slow as you can, breathe out. That's it, two more. Let it all go. Let the arms and legs sink down. Very good. Then inhale here, take the palms together. And the exhale here, bow to your own effort. Can you thank your body for everything it was able to do today?
And thank yourself for showing up. Breathe in. And then exhale, bow to your own effort. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.